So we've got food expert Nicole Gonzalez here. So I'm trying out this hazelnut milk that I got. It was a little bit more expensive, um, but it's just made with hazelnuts and water, and I just had a taste of it just straight, and it's so good. So it was on sale, so I thought I would try it. Um, but I'm gonna just see how it tastes in my morning herbal coffee, all frothed up. It looks so good. All right, a little taste test. Oh yeah, that's delicious. They have a bunch of other flavors too. They have cashews, they have almonds, I think oat milk, but I just thought since it was on sale, the hazelnut one would be a fun one to try in coffee. And I can confirm it is delicious. So here are the ingredients. Just filtered water and hazelnuts. Delicious. balancing on some bottles hopefully you don't fall just got out of the shower oh so good some rose water i'm just gonna do a really simple morning skincare routine if you guys want to know like all the products i use and stuff i have a blog post i will link down below i feel like i finally have found the products that really work for my skin the brands and yeah i just feel like my skin's in a good place right now because I used to suffer with like really oily skin, cystic acne, like congested, lots of blackheads, really annoying stuff. And I feel like everyone goes through that trial stage where they're like trying all this different stuff to see like what works for their body and their skin. And sometimes that can be a long journey. So I feel like I finally have found, you know, the products that are super nourishing, hydrating, don't break me out. What am I doing today? Probably need some sunscreen. Um, I did not wash my hair. I'm gonna embrace the, if it looks like I'm putting a lot of moisturizer, it's because I am. <laughs> Serums, eye cream, moisturizer. Yeah, I'm gonna embrace the uh, the natural waves today. I feel like I've just been, I mean, I, I never really like to wash my hair too much, but I feel like I've been really avoiding it. And we're just gonna go on a hike this morning, so. Um, okay, let me just get my sunscreen, one second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I also got my lip balm. I was in the sun a lot yesterday, so my lips are pretty dry. This is the best lip balm. It's from my skincare line. I use that every day. This is the sun face sunscreen I love. I just tried it for the first time this year. It's from Green Beaver. I'll link it down below. It looks like it's um, tinted, but it's not. And it just is so lightweight. It does not clog my pores and it just melts right in. I love it. So I've been really adamant on wearing sunscreen this summer and even getting Matt to do it. I'm like, did you put your fun uh, face sunscreen on? I'm sure it's annoying <laughs> to him, but I'm like, need to protect your skin. Oh, and I totally forgot about my coffee. Ah, oh, this hazelnut milk is so good. Okay, so I do that and you know what? I probably should do it on like my neck. I have a body sunscreen from Green Beaver too that I use. So I'll probably put that on too. But every day I put this face sunscreen on, it's 25 SPF. And if you're using, like I'm gonna follow up with a CC cream right now. If you're using a CC cream that has SPF, you still need just SPF. I think my mom even said the other day, you need about a teaspoon of SPF on your face. Like that is the, the amount you need apparently. My mom's always right, right? <laughs> Everyone's mom knows best. Okay, I'm gonna put, I really don't wanna wear makeup today. This is just like, so I can feel a little bit put together. It's really lightweight. Okay, and it just like evens out your skin. Okay, so I have that on. Oh, for body lotion, I'm just gonna put this all over. I love this stuff, just soaks right in. I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit of a tan and it looks so ghostly. I'm just gonna throw on some sense, or not sunscreen, <laughs> some deodorant. 
This is also from Beauty Net Skin Care. It's the best deodorant, it's all natural. It smells like bergamot and lime, I love it. And it just comes like a paste, so it's really easy to apply. Ooh, ooh. And apparently durable, it doesn't break in the sink. So you just apply it like lotion, it's so easy. Just make sure you have clean hands, which is why I just washed my hands. And it, like it's not sticky, I could just rub it into my hands and I'm fine. And it just lasts all day, I love it. Doesn't have aluminum in it, has arrowroot powder, uh, which really helps soak up moisture and I just, I cannot recommend this enough. We sell out every time we restock, so we're working on a restock right now. That and the lip butter are like the two top best sellers. Um, okay, I'm gonna finish um, doing my makeup, getting ready. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. I think we're gonna try to have a quick breakfast before we go for a hike. Either smoothie or sourdough and eggs. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. Also, one thing I do every time I'm done getting ready in the morning just to help keep the bathroom clean because I feel like it gets really gross is I just take my all-purpose cleaner because I'm usually the last one getting ready between Matt and I. So just spray it down. And then I just give everything a good wipe. Also too, because this is the main bathroom, not that we have a ton of guests over right now, but I feel like it's the one everyone sees. So I just like to keep it nice and clean and disinfected. And then I also like to fill up my diffuser in here. We do this every day. And then I'm just gonna take some lemon oil. This is really good, helps clean the air. Really great for deodorizing bathrooms. And I basically use, I either use like Citrus Fresh, which is just a blend of citrus oils, or just straight up lemon and eucalyptus, or just lemon by itself. It just looks nice to have the bathroom counter clean first thing in the day. I will also link the all-purpose cleaner that I use. It's just one by Thieves, which is the same as that hand wash. Um, ends up being, I buy it in the concentrate formula, ends up being like 99 cents per bottle. I just mix it with water and you can add extra essential oils if you like, but it is the best all-purpose cleaner. I love it, it's non-toxic. It's safe for all surfaces. And yeah, I'll link that down below. So I actually decided on a green smoothie for breakfast since we wanna hit the road and go for a hike before it gets too busy. So I just kinda laid out my ingredients. I get a lot of questions on what goes in my smoothie. I have lots of greens. I usually do about two heaping handfuls of just green spinach or kale. Uh, cucumber um, for fruit I put it in a bowl just so you can see I don't put a ton of fruit in my smoothies this is probably only a cup and a half but it's for Matt and I I have a mixture of frozen pineapple mango and only half of a ripe banana under there I like using frozen fruit because it makes it really creamy and make sure your fruit is ripe so it adds some nice sweetness to it I have some ice I actually love this little ice um, holder it has a lid we actually sell it on the health nut shop it just makes it so your ice tea is nice and fresh. I also, I might put a little bit of lemon. I have the other half of my lemon. I add some lemon water this morning. I'm um, a little bit of ginger. Ginger and pineapple are so good for dig digestion. Uh, protein, I've just been using up. I have these packages, um, but you can buy them in tubs too. The raw organic uh, vanilla protein from Garden of Life. Love that. I always add a fiber. This is just golden flax. Sometimes I'll grind it up and use it for other stuff, but if you have a powerful blender, you can just use the whole. I'm gonna add some peanut butter, unsweetened oat milk, a little cinnamon for sugar balancing, and then some collagen. Um, I usually just use their plain. This one is just the greens one. It just has like wheatgrass, spirulina, kale, and some other added greens in there. Uh, so I'm gonna just pop this all into my blender and blend it all up, and it's gonna be like the easiest five minute breakfast recipe. I forgot I also want to add in some sheep yogurt. I'm just trying to use up the last little bit of this. Um, I really love sheep yogurt in my smoothies lately. Just some extra healthy fats. Also sheep yogurt is a little bit more uh, easier to digest than regular yogurt if you have trouble with, with dairy. I keep dancing with the devil, baby, So creamy, so refreshing. This has been like my go-to 
blend right now. It's kind of a take on my pineapple green dream smoothie from the blog, but with just a few different additions because I feel like my smoothie is changing every day, every week, depending on what ingredients I have and kind of what I'm craving. If you guys also want like a free, uh, really easy template on how to make whatever green smoothie that you want and you just want like the like the um, proper measurements and different categories to make sure to add like fiber, protein, all of that. I have a free how to make the perfect green smoothie download. I'll link that down below. I get a lot of questions, like I said, about what goes in my smoothie. So that's just a helpful guide that I created for you guys to have at home and for breakfast when you're making, your, or you're blending up your own smoothies. Here you go, Mr. Mant. Thank you. Please test. Good. That's a good one, eh? Yeah, good. yeah. Last on my to-do list before we head out is to feed my new addition to the family. Can you guess what this is? Let me open it up and show you. It's sourdough starter. Okay, I have to smell it. So I got this from Jazz from Nourishment Kitchen. Yesterday we went up to their cottage for the day. She has been on a sourdough making train with everyone else and she's inspired me to make sourdough myself. So basically she fed it yesterday. Apparently I need to feed it today. So I need to smell it. Okay, show me to smell it so I know what it smells like when it needs to be fed. So it's definitely a little a little sour smelling and let me show you the bag of uh, bread flour I bought from a uh, health food store like this when did we buy it Matt like a month ago yeah. maybe two months yeah month month and a half ago I told Matt I'm gonna be making sourdough bread and then I just like never did it because I didn't have starter and I was like I don't know if I have the patience to do that so let me show you this big bag of flour that I got because um, I don't know I thought I just needed a ton so I'm gonna open it up maybe put some in a jar and then just feed it and then probably try to attempt making sourdough, I don't know, next week. So I just gotta like feed it every day. Jazz says it's kind of like a house plant. So you just gotta take care of it and keep it alive. But this is like a really good starter. So thank you, Jazz. I'm gonna take care of it and make the most delicious sourdough bread. Also, I'll show you, she gave us, she sent us home with some sourdough bread yesterday. We're gonna have it for lunch. I'll show you guys what it looks like when we eat it. It's the pretty, I think it's like her best yet, so. She outdid herself, but this is what my bread flour looks like from here. I'll show you. Ugh. Okay, this is or 10 kilograms of organic all-purpose flour. So I'm not gonna run out. And yeah, I'm gonna open her up, put some in maybe just like a smaller mason jar so it's a little bit easier to handle. And then I don't have to get Matt to lug this out from the basement every time I need to feed the starter but I'm excited to get started with my sourdough bread making journey. Comment down below if you made sourdough this, these last couple of months, and if you are a avid baker, please give me your tips. So I went ahead and I transferred my flour into just a wide mouth mason jar. I might even transfer it into a larger container eventually, but she said just do like a heaping tablespoon. Hopefully that's not too much and then just a little bit of water. So it's basically like a tablespoon of each. I'm just eyeballing it, because that's what Jazz does. Oh wait, and I'm not supposed to use a metal spoon. I'm just gonna use a chopstick. Mix, mix, mix. From my understanding, I think you kind of want it to look like the consistency of pancake batter. That's what I'm going on anyways. Mix that through, and then I'm gonna pop the lid on, but leave it a little bit cracked so that the air bubbles can escape because this is a live product. It's fermenting, so there's gonna be gases that come off of it. And you just gotta feed it every day. So I got the lid on and he's just gonna live right in that corner there next to the fruit bowl. I am dressed, ready for the hike. I keep talking about the hike, but we never end up going. No, we always like wake up in the morning. Like, we're gonna go on a hike first thing in the morning. And then you just get caught up doing things. Like, I threw in laundry this morning, cleaned the bathroom, although I do that like every morning. Did the sourdough starter smoothie. You know, just little things, they pile up. Especially on a Sunday morning when you just like feel like you wanna get so many things done but you also wanna relax. It's just, yeah. Called my mom this morning uh, since she just got, she's back at work now, so things are a bit crazy. So I think we might head there later for like an evening barbecue just to go see the family, say hi, since I feel like I haven't talked to her in a couple of days. Cashew was so tired, so I think I mentioned like we went to 
our friend Jazz's cottage. Well, it's her house, but I call it cottage. Uh, yesterday, we went for the entire day, and her dog, Otter, and Cashew were like best of friends, and they were playing non-stop. She's so tired right now. I don't even think she wants to go for a hike. Let me show you. Um, Cashew, you want to go for a hike? Tails wagon. <laughs> hike? <laughs> She's so sleepy. We'll just go on a little hike, okay? Not too much running. <laughs> this is really hard with one hand. There we go. Ready, Cashew? Got my water. Is it in the car? Okay, let's go. So I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Weekend hikes are like one of our favorite activities. Yep, love it. It's probably the thing that has kept me the most sane while having to stay at home and isolate, but it's just so good for the soul. And like this park has been, what, closed for three months now? Two. Two, Two it feels like a long time. So we're just getting back into a routine and if it wasn't nature hikes, I was just like doing hikes around like, like the neighborhood, the neighborhood the and stuff. Yeah. yeah, but it's just so nice. Oh, and it's a little cool. So this is a good time to go when there aren't too many mosquitoes. Yeah. And Cashew loves it. Like she is a good dog because she gets good hike, like good hikes, good walks, good exercise. If you have a hyperactive dog, just get them some exercise. It's good for you. It's good for your dog. Do My it. My arm's getting tired. Just do it. Just do it. Best way to start the day. So for lunch, I have this gorgeous garden salad. There's shredded carrots, cucumber, tomatoes, red pepper, mixed greens, some cabbage, and I'm just gonna put a simple balsamic vinaigrette. And then over here, like look at this gorgeous homemade sourdough loaf. It does not get any better than this. I am so grateful. Thank you so much, Jazz, for baking us this loaf to take home. Look at the beautiful design or the scoring she did. It looks so pretty. I don't want to cut into this little baby sourdough, but I want to eat it. So I'm going to slice it up and then probably toast it. And we actually have some avocado that I think I'm going to mash on top. So we're going to have that with the salad and maybe a little bit of fruit on the side. Okay, so I got the bread on a cutting board. I got my bread knife. Whew. So soft inside. I'm also just slicing up these beautiful Ontario strawberries that I picked up the other day. I washed some blueberries. I'm just gonna do like a really simple fruit salad. I have some golden kiwis, and then I got my compost right there. Uh, so I'm just gonna make that for a little dessert and because I'm craving lots of fresh fruit. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. So this is the completed fruit salad. I ended up adding in some mango that I had to use up. Oh, toast is ready. As well as some red seedless grapes I just cut in half. And I'm keeping it really simple. I'm not gonna do any like orange juice or mint in here, but that is an option too if you want. But I'm getting pretty hungry, so I'm gonna put the avocado on the sourdough bread so we can eat this delicious lunch. So I just mashed up the avocado with a little bit of salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. Very rustic style. 
here's everything put together. This is like my ideal kind of lunch. I like eating like little bits of everything. So I got salad, fruit salad, and avocado toast. How's that toast? I could hear just the crunch. Mm -hmm. So good. Oh, what else are you adding? Everything but the bagel seasoning. Mm -hmm. That stuff's good. I was gonna add that. I just did chili flakes. Always adding all the flavors. Matt's like, the more flavor, the better. I like simple with like pops of flavor, but that stuff's really good. Ooh. I don't have a table yet, so mm -hmm. side table it is. Let me show you the garden. It's thriving. <laughs> Look at this. These are collard greens that we can start taking and adding to soups. The kale's killing it. These are red cabbage. Tomatoes are doing good. Honestly, everything is doing really good. So we're gonna have to start actually pulling stuff up. I shared this on Instagram the other day, but okay, where is it? Oh, I should have added them to the salad. There's full on radishes. Like we can pluck those out. <gasps> Matt, look, the huge radish. Yeah, maybe I'll take some stuff today to my mom's for dinner. We can add it to a salad, but it's looking so good. I'm so proud of it. And now we can actually start eating it. Our herb garden's doing really good. Look at the sage. The dill's taking over. Um, this guy planted a little bit later. It's uh, Thai basil. A lot of people have said I should take the mint out. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might just leave it and see if it takes over. I don't know. But I think everything's doing really, really good. The salad is so good. Matt's already eating this whole thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Cabana boy. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I changed. Put some pants on. I'm also snacking on, snacking on these guys. Uh, they're the honey wheat braids from Neil Brothers. They're pretty good. This is what they look like. Nice crunchy snack. Um, if you can't tell, I like Neil Brothers. I think they were on sale or something. I got all the kinds. The regular pretzel rods. These cheese puffs are life. So good. Who says you can't have healthy junk food when you're older? So I'm just taking these for the road. We're just going to... Head over to my aunt's to drop something off and then head over to my parents. We're just packing up. And we got her food and a stasher bag. I got Beyond Meat burgers because I think they're having salmon tonight, which I'm not really feeling like fish. I just had fish last night. So I'm going to throw some burgers on the barbecue. Mm. Oh, hey, Cashew. <laughs> Great spot, you're right in the shot. <laughs> I am back at home, actually I didn't, I forgot to vlog at my parents. Uh, we had a really nice barbecue, um, I had some of those Beyond Meat burgers, I think I shared them, and then we had some grilled pineapple, which was so good, and my mom made a big salad, and then, oh, some of this like coconut brown rice, it was really yummy, so I'm just back at home. I started to watch a movie with my mom, it's on Disney Plus, um, it's called Artemis, Fal failure I think it was really really good so I'm probably gonna finish watching that now I just I was kind of falling asleep on the couch and Matt was leaving um, because he had to go uh, finish packing some orders for the shop because uh, we're getting them delivered tomorrow morning uh, so anyways he wanted to come home early and they're like oh like we can come pick you up later if you still want to finish the movie but I don't know about you guys sometimes like I just want to fall like if I fall asleep watching a movie it's I don't know, getting up and then having to travel home and then fall asleep again can sometimes be like, not annoying, but you just never get the best sleep the second time around. So I was like, you know what? I'm already falling asleep. I think just yesterday and today, just like lots of sun, uh, just started making me tired. So I thought, you know what? I'll just go home and I'll finish watching it here. And I have a little snack. I got some more, I have some more of that fruit salad that I made for lunch. So good. So I'm gonna have that, and then I also just uh, brewed some chamomile citron citrus tea. It's from Mighty Leaf. It's really good. I like this one, so I'm gonna have that. And Matt is just downstairs, which so is Cashew and I. <laughs> Cashew, Cashew, we're filming. That's rude. Cashew, um, no cup. 
just really getting in there. I don't know if I should stop the camera or keep rolling. Cashew! Cashew! Okay, she came out for air. But I'm gonna have my fruit salad, drink my tea, and just watch a little Disney Plus. Uh, maybe a little YouTube. Is What's on my glasses? Oh, was that there the whole time? Piece of Kleenex? I was cleaning my glasses earlier. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Alright, anyways. Uh, yeah, I think that's time for me to go and just have a nice, relaxing cozy night in so i hope you guys had a good day today thank you so much for watching as always question of the day today leave me a comment down below what is your favorite thing about sundays i would love to know like i said i always try to do like a mixture of relaxation and productivity sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't but i feel like today was a good mix so i hope you guys have a wonderful day i'm gonna finish eating this beautiful collection of fruit and cashew and i are just gonna chill and have an awesome night so matt will join us in a little bit he's just finishing up some stuff downstairs for the shop so we can get some orders out for you guys this week and i will see you guys in the next vlog bye guys say bye cashew say bye <laughs>